Austin Blake presents a review of Disney Animation's Strange World. I was trying to sound like the trailer. I sound more like the Powerpuff Girls narrator. That's the Powerpuff Girls. No, that was bad. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Strange World is the brand new Disney animated movie with a stacked cast and great animation. But is the story there? We're going to get into it. So the legendary Clades are a family of explorers whose differences threaten to topple their latest and most crucial mission. This animated movie is rated PG for action, peril, and some thematic elements. And a really stacked cast, Alan Tudyk, Gabrielle Union, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Dennis Quaid, who was unrecognizable at first as this crazy older explorer, a hero of sorts that this entire town looks up to that is going to do whatever it takes to get to the other side of those mountains. But his son, at the beginning, a young Jake Gyllenhaal in Searcher Clade, is not as willing to go on these adventures as his father. His dad has to save him numerous times, and he just feels like he's not built for this. So then something happens to Jaeger Clade and Searcher is on his own until he makes a discovery that changes the way that life operates as they know it. And I like this world. It's inventive. At first I'm like, oh, is this on Earth? And it may or may not be on Earth, but it's just a drastically different type of environment and world that they are living in. And there are secrets to that world that are uncovered as we go with this plot, a plot full of uh, magic magical creatures, sort of, if you will, and characters that are really interesting. I think Searcher is someone who goes through so much in his youth and then has to kind of transfer what he believes to be better parental skills to his now son in Ethan, and there's a dynamic there that feels much stronger than the relationship between Searcher and his father at the beginning. Now, it's not without its rough patches, and you start to see similarities as the movie goes on, but I liked the relationships between the family family members, and that's what carries us through this movie, that and of course, the visuals and the creatures that come about, you know, they encounter these uh, crazy environments, and each environment is different, and from that comes some really awesome looking creatures, creature design, I think the animation here is really strong. You know, visually, we're often astounded by what Disney is able to do, but I feel like this time around, they just had the opportunity to add more color to situations, or give us more grand environments. Now, the backgrounds, they are not as realistic as some Pixar movies that we've seen as of late, but they didn't have to be. Occasionally, maybe it would come off as too much, but for the most part, I was really satisfied by what we got. Here's my issue with Strange World. You know, they're shooting for some really nice ideas here, and parallels across the board, whether that's within this father-son dynamic, you take that a step further, what's going on in that world is somewhat mimicking what's going on in our world. They're trying to draw parallels that to kids may not be obvious, but to adults watching, it's like, oh, well, that's exactly what they're trying to do. It's easy to spot things like that, but they're trying to cram and shoehorn so many things in here that are either telling numerous stories or bringing about multiple themes, and it feels like at a point they're just trying to do too much. and. I bring it back to some of those relationships that we're dealing with and some of the dynamics between characters and the fact that we're jumping back and forth at one point in the film. We'll say, uh, end of the first act, beginning of the second, from Searcher's story to Ethan's story as he gets lost to Meridian's story as they're trying to solve this issue that they came here for in the first place. And there's just a lot happening. And within those major plot threads, there are themes that they're trying to explore, and there are moments that are supposed to be integral for certain audience members. There's just too much going on in this script, and I think that's the case. The script is overstuffed, especially for a kid's film where simplicity often allows these movies to work extremely well, but there's nothing really simple about this plot when it all comes together. Now, the individual plot threads, there are some really great moments. I think the chemistry or lack thereof between Dennis Quaid and Jake Gyllenhaal, that's great. And I loved any time they were butting heads or going after each other. But we would go from that to this other thing, to this other thing, and then another problem arises, and then within that problem, there's something that they have to do, but when they do that thing, there's something else that comes about, and it just becomes overly convoluted. And for a movie for kids, I don't know if they're either going to be able to follow that, but even if they follow that, I don't know if they're going to be as 
invested. And for the adults, I appreciate the fact that Disney's trying to do a few things that are going to appeal to adults, but when a story is this overly convoluted, us as adults start to realize, okay, maybe there's just one too many plot threads or one too many storylines that this script tried to include. Now, that doesn't take away from some of the fun and the entertainment, especially when they're having to fight back against these creatures and uh, you get the really cute ones that come in. Oh, and there's a dog. There's a three-legged dog in here. It's really cute. Before I give you my score for Strange World, if you're here right now, you made it to this point in the video, the phrase is not strange enough. Let's confuse everyone who didn't make it to this point in the video. And of course, if you want to support this channel, the best way to do that is by dropping that like down below. Strange World tries to overcomplicate a fantastic premise by adding a few too many subplots. Regardless, it features an excellent voice cast and fun relationships that will still allow viewers to get invested. My score is a 62%. I definitely wanted more from this, especially since it's Disney animation. So count me as one who was disappointed, but I do believe families and kids will still have some fun while watching in the theater. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.